Okay, hi guys. Um, just a quick short video, really. Um, window wipers, uh, window wipers, window winders on uh, Reliance. Okay, I know they're getting on, so the plastic is breaking down. The trouble is, no matter what you get these days, the plastic is just going to shrink and eventually break up. This one I've tried to repair two or three times, and um, in the end, I got these tops. You see these tops? Now, these are off uh, WD 40 hands, which I shall lay my hand off for a moment. The WD 40 hands. Well, obviously, when the can's empty, not a lot of use to anybody really. But the, the tops are absolutely really nice. About the same diameter, um, a little bit wider, but as you can imagine, winding the window up and down is exactly what you want. And plus you have got a little bit of a design on top there. And it's grippy, so your hand grips it really good. So I've already um, I've already repaired one. It's on the car now. I'm just going to do this one now. And what I've done is I've got a bit of a screw, machine screw, or whatever. And I've got a couple of these butterfly screws. I've screwed one way, one way, and one the other. And I'm just waiting for my heat gun to heat up. And then what I'm going to do is basically just use my heat gun initially to fix, fix this in position. So it's basically going to go in like that. Now these will grip the resin when I put it in so that when you're turning the handle, this won't come loose in the resin. And believe me, it doesn't because I've, I've done one already, as I say, and uh, yeah, it's in there forever. Now, if you wanted to, you could paint these black. I've just left mine this colour. I will just leave mine this colour. Um, but you can spray them black. You can get plastic sprays, which will go on there perfectly well, no problem. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that in the centre. You've even got tabs, which give you a good idea where the centre is. So you can actually gauge it, so you get it right in the centre, both ways. And then you can mix up some resin and drop that in there, leave it for a few hours. And this is a bit squidgy at the moment, the top end. It goes solid once the resin has gone off. Um, you know, the old cheap resin from Poundland. <laughs> Excellent stuff, I've got to tell you. Right, now, I'm just going to... Sort out my gun. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a bit of uh, there's a bit more light and stuff. Yeah. That might help, might not it? Oh, there you go. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to just plonk some. Resin on there, you might have to hold it for a minute while it goes off. Hopefully, it shouldn't take long. So it's right dead centre. Um, so, what you've got to do is because these are originally riveted in, they've riveted them in. So, um, I mean, mine just broke off eventually anyway. I did try to repair it numerous times, even with resin, it didn't work. Um, so, hence why I've come up with this idea. So, um, yeah, you put that through, that's the other bit. And uh, I'll show you when, when I get to that, I'll show you it, and then you'll see the complete thing. 
Okay, so just uh, get the old heat gun, do a bit more down there. That's got plenty to adhere to. So just make sure it doesn't move when the resin goes in there. That's it. Don't need much, just enough to hold it, keep it in position. And I suppose the other thing you could do is if you cut a, a cardboard disc out, the same diameter as this, with a little hole in it, you could put that over the top, and providing the edges of the cardboard disc are on the edges of this, you know it's central. But I literally just thought of that on the spur of the moment, so. Yeah, that's gone. Right, and then obviously you have to make up your resin. Obviously the bit of thread that you, you use in here is only going to be short anyway when you do finally put it together. When you put it in the handle bit, or, or rather when you put it in the shaft bit, the bit comes down. Um, so, if you have got it slightly out, I don't think it's going to notice. I have somewhere a stick that I use for mixing my resin up. There. And then we put some resin. Screw it in there. This is the last of this pot, so I might as well use it all up. Hopefully, it's cooled down a bit now. That side, so it might take a little longer for it to set. Mind you, it is a, a chemical reaction, to be fair, but temperature does make a difference. So, it's no good just doing it with a hot glue gun because that won't be strong enough. And when it gets hot in the car, when you get the sun in the car, it will just melt it and your knob will drop off. And you don't want that happening, do you? So it's better to do it with resin. That way it's a permanent fix. Otherwise you'll be trying to undo the window and you'll be in trouble. Right, okay. Now, work it down. and pour it and get it quite sticky so yeah it's runnier when the weather's warmer when it's like this It's not very runny at all, in fact. So it might 
You might have a bit of a job to get in here, in fact. A bit like I am now. See, when I did the last one, it ran in. It just dribbled in and that was it, no problem at all, but it's not doing the same. Not doing the same at all. Yeah. No, it's it's setting. Right, okay. I have to mix up some more. So uh, bear with me one moment. That's why I always like to keep this stuff on hand because I don't know if you really need it. So, I didn't break that off. That's it, lose the top. Don't forget to lose the top. Oh, that's it, just snapped off. Okay, very nice. Oh, there you go then. That's all right because I've got the old one, so that's okay. I can use the old one. Mm, that is brittle. Absolutely brittle. Right, let me uh, cut that off a minute. Bear with me one moment. Okay, and let's screw it in. Oh, well, before you do that, you need to break out the. There's a bit of the back. You have to break it out because you won't be able to uh, do it otherwise. Come on. Out you come. Oh, yeah. Pass this MOT again for another year. This time with flying colours, never had a problem with the headlight or anything else. I gave it a really good going over to make sure I wouldn't get any problems. Well, it's that time again. MOT has come up. The dreaded MOT. Hopefully there's going to be nothing major wrong with it this time. Because uh, I had a great headache with a headlight scenario. So hopefully, I've been over it with a fine tooth comb as far as I can see there's nothing wrong. But you never know. There you go. So, it's in the lap of the gods, as they say. Hopefully, it's going to be good news. And, uh, Do some many more adventures, hopefully. So, I'm just waiting. Want to go in there? And uh, yeah, she passed. No problem at all. So I was well happy about that. So, put that in there, right? And if you draw it back a bit. I'll suck it back in. And then you can put the older one on. If you already broke the other one. Like I just did. That's it. All on. Right, okay. So mix this up. Oh, this is stiff. Yeah. That's really... Got a bit, yeah, temperature's made all the difference. Good grief. <laughs> it really is. Mm. Um, what I did was when I did the butterfly nuts up, 
I did them with a bit of um, bit of super glue on the threads and did them up really tight because obviously once the thread starts slipping inside you add it so this has got to be a permanent fix you can't afford for it to to go wrong sort of thing so so you know, work it towards the where you're going to go so you want it to go in there obviously all right here we go Yep. And what I suggest that's quite a bit of weight to it now, which is ideal which is what you want really so I'm going to let that set and then uh, I'll show you the next bit okay okay right we're back um, what I ideally you need to get yourself a washer you can either get one that's a full diameter of that if you can with a small hole for your thread to drop through or if you can only get one this diameter then that's absolutely fine but what we want is we want this to sit proud slightly so that it runs smoothly when you're winding the window up and down. Alright, so we need to mix up a bit more resin. Okay. We only need a little bit for this bit because this is the final the final part. So I'll move that over there for another moment. Now I'm going to do it. Yeah, definitely colder weather. Definitely affects its uh, mixing. And as I say, ideally I think you need to warm it up. If you're going to do like a runny mix, you need to you need to warm it up a bit i'm doing it out in my workshop here and it's quite cold okay now what you want to do is you want to move that back into the center Then make sure that it's clean, no grease on it, okay, and then drop it down onto it. to give you a bit of a yeah I think what I've done is I've got some get a okay. absolutely
I said perfect. So you end up with a nice, so slightly proud, so that when this rubs on the actual handle, shaft of the handle part, you get a nice smooth turn when you're unscrewing it. Right, then it's really just let that set. And then um, I will come back and show you the rest of the assembly. Okay, right, back again. Right now, this is uh, fully gone off. So you now have ended up with the washer fixed into the resin. So you've got a nice shiny surface for it to be able to spin around on, no problem. Right, I've got the... Got the actual winding arm, if you like. And I've drilled out the old rivet. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit right, but I want to try and keep it as tight as possible. So, I'm just going to drill it out a little bit. There you go, that goes in there beautifully. Just like so. Okay, and what I suggest, I think, is if you get a washer, I'll bear with me one moment. Okay, right, I've got a washer on it. Okay, so if you get a nice locking nut, and a socket to do it up with right before before you actually assemble it i would um put a little bit of grease on there just so it can run around there easily and of course it's not wearing in either so So it's moving easily. Get a socket. And then you can start to it up. Up to you how tight you do it. Obviously, the less it's vibrating around, the less noise you're going to get in your car. I mean, you want it so that it moves easily, but you don't want it so so loose that it's going to Yep, I'll say that's just right. Okay, there you go. Alright. Yep, that feels just nice. Right, now. Just want to hack off the access, obviously. Um, just one moment. Right, so there you go. All done. Nice neat job, and it turns around nicely, but doesn't rattle around. As you can see, it's not moving, because Reliance are well known for having lots of rattles. That was one of the bugbears of the car. It did tend to rattle a lot. So if you can sort out any rattles, this being one of them, and you can paint it black. If you want to paint it black, paint it black. Now, I've got a mate who's always has a job to find the, the bloody window wind, I don't know why, um, especially in the dark. And 
as soon as I did this the other one, no problem, found it every time. Because um, it wasn't black, because it's red, you know, easy to find. Um, but everybody is to their own, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so there you go. I hope it was some use to you. And um, obviously, if you've got any access grease, don't put a ton of grease, just, just enough. You don't need any, a, a ton of it. There you go. And it's easy to wind around. No problem at all. Completely quiet. And uh, as I say, you can spray it. Do whatever you want with it. I hope it's been some use to you. All right, so just a short video, really, just to give you a heads up. Um, you know, if you're caught short without a winder, because there's nothing, because the winder broke on mine, and not the winder, but the handle broke. I'm trying to wind that window up is a pain in the ass. Um, because they're not the easiest ones to wind up and down either, even though I've had them all apart, given them a good service, and fully greased. They're still not, you know, excellent to wind up and down, but with this, they really are. It grips, no problem at all. And, um, so if it helps you out, gives you an idea, by all means, use it, okay? So if you've enjoyed the video, please give this video a like, because, uh, the old YouTube, they do like it when a video is liked, and they will promote it, okay? So, until uh, next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Okay, me again. Um, just before I actually uh, shut down this video, I thought I'd better show you in action what it looks like when it's on. As I say, you can spray them black. And, uh, and there you go, how easy is that? No problem at all. One's up. does the job and it looks okay looks okay too it doesn't get in your way I'll uh, get in to demonstrate there you go it's not in your way or anything and you can wind it down there you go all right I hope that's helped you so I'll think of anything else that would be of any use to you. Yeah, there's the other one. Then I will do another video. So, but for now, that's all I can think of. Okay, as you can see, she's all back to normal now after my engine rebuild. So, all good for another year. So, as I said, yeah. Give the video a like and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. So take care. Goodbye.